Now we will solve the same MILP model with the help of an example. So we had N plants or supply points and M markets or demand points. So in this example, we are having five plants or supply uh, points and five markets or other demand regions. We are also given the data for production and transportation of unit load from, from the supply points to the, to the corresponding uh, demand points or, or the markets. We are also given the demand for, for each of the five uh, markets or demand regions. We are also given the fixed cost for constructing and or running each of the supply points, for example, the plant. And we are also given the capacity of each of the uh, supply points. Uh, we have to solve this model to find the values of uh, quantities to be, to be shipped from the supply regions to different uh, demand regions, as well as which plants are to be to be constructed or run. So we had this objective function to minimize the total cost that was the sum of fixed cost and variable cost. So fixed cost was uh, equal to actually product of this, these values and Y subscript I. So whether we are going to open and run a plant or not. So we, we need to multiply these two columns, this one of F subscript I and this one containing Y subscript I. So this column is, is blank because that is our decision variable. We have to find its value. So we will have M product F subscript I comma Y subscript I. Plus we had uh, the variable cost, so that was C subscript IJ into X subscript IJ. So that will be equal to some product. Uh, these values of costs and XIJ, the values of quantities to be shipped from uh, the supply points to the demand points. That is our variable cost. So we have applied the formula for objective function. Then we had four constraints. So first uh, I'll be applying this capacity constraint. So that was equal to capacity of each plant into Y subscript I, whether we are opening a plant or not, minus sum of quantities supplied to all M uh, markets or, or the demand regions from this plant I. So for example, for first plant or supply point, the K1 will be this capacity 20, that is cell I, multiplied by Y1, minus sum of the quantities supplied by plant 1 to all five uh, demand region, so that is uh, the sum of these values, right? So similarly, we can apply for the rest of the four plants. So we, you can simply drag. So for example, you can see from here that for plant two or supply point two, we are having this A2, this cell uh, I11 multiplied by Y2, that is cell H22, uh, minus sum of the quantities supplied by a plant two or supply point two to all the five markets. And similarly, you can see for the rest of the three plants. Then I will be applying this demand constraint. So that was uh, demand of, for example, uh, supply, sorry, the demand of the demand region one, so D1 minus some of the uh, some of the quantities supplied by all the plants to this demand region 
and it, their difference should be zero. So we will apply the, this formula of greater than zero or equal to zero uh, in, in the solver. So for example, for demand region one, that will be equal to demand for region one, so that is 12 uh, cell C, uh, C15 minus sum of the quantities some of the quantities supplied to this market one or demand region one. Similarly, you can drag for the other uh, markets or demand regions, for example, for demand region two, that is equal to D2, that is the demand of uh, region two, that is eight minus some of the quantities supply to this uh, demand region two from all the five supply points. And same is true about uh, the demand region three, four, and five. So we will apply the rest of the two constraints, the binary constraint for the uh, opening or not opening the, the plants or the supply regions and the non-negativity constraint in, in the solver. So we will, uh, move to the data tab and then solver our objective function cell is this one where we had to apply where we had to apply the formula for the total cost here the c and variable cells are these containing ij's and yi and your so first constraint would be these cells where we have applied the formula for capacity constraint to be equal to greater than or equal to zero. The cells containing the demand constraint would be equal to zero. This, uh, these uh, cells for plants or, or the supply region they must be binary and these quantities xijs should be should be positive we will use simplex lp and click solve so we will be having three uh, supply points in total that is the supply point 2 Four and five supplying uh, to to the five uh, demand regions in this case. So supply point one and three won't be used in this case. We had a demand of twelve for demand region one, so that demand is satisfied by supply point two. The demand of eight for demand region two is also satisfied by supply point two. The demand region three had a demand of fourteen in total, so that is partially satisfied by supply point four and partially by supply point five, but that is satisfied four plus ten fourteen. For demand region four, that demand is satisfied by supply point four, and similarly for demand region five is satisfied by supply point five. So the total demand was 57, but total capacity is 20 for each of these three supply points. So that is 60. So we have three, uh, say three units of uh, capacity available at excess capacity and that they are with the uh, supply point five. Demand of all the five demand regions is also satisfied, and total cost of uh, uh, supplying from each of these three supply points to the five demand uh, regions is twenty three thousand seven hundred and fifty one dollars. So that is the optimum solution. That is the minimum cost. We can't we can't have the solution that would result in a lesser cost than this so we had we have selected the three of out of the five supply points as well as how much should be shipped from 
from the supply points to the corresponding demand inputs. So I hope uh, the solution is clear. Thank you very much.